So I don't know if I ever actually announced this in a video, but I moved to Seattle. And it's been really fun living here. I got basically my dream apartment, but it hasn't quite felt like home yet. And I think a large part is because I never really decorated my room and it needs a makeover, you guys. And I recently got this projector that I've been using at night to watch videos and it is really inspiring me just to make this room more homey. So I'm challenging myself to do a one week makeover. We're painting, we're building a piece of furniture and we're making this room finally feel like home. So I'll show it at the very end, but first let's look at the before. All right, so you can see it really is a blank slate. I was going for that minimal, like warm minimalism, but I think it just turned out way too minimal and it really does feel just kind of cold in here. A little boring, a little bland. So I really want to bring some color in. I also have these blackout shades that are not actually long enough. So we've got to swap those out for some different ones, maybe a different color. And then a big thing is this wall just really has nothing on it. And I'm thinking I'll have the projector project on to the wall, but I do want to do something for underneath it. This is the projector that I got. It's the Nebula Cosmos 4K laser projector. They also make a smaller projector. It's called the Nebula Capsule 3 projector. And I really like the idea of using a projector in place of a TV because I have kind of an awkward wall here. The indent sort of makes it an awkward spot to put a TV because this would be off centered from the bed. The projector was like the perfect solution. So my thought for this space is to build a bookshelf that fits perfectly into the little space and have the projector up here on top. So I sketched a little drawing plan of the bookshelf and I measured everything so it could fit perfectly into this space because it is a weird little indent and I'll have my projector projecting over it so it'll be kind of like a spot where I can watch movies and YouTube videos and everything like that. This projector is insane. It makes my room feel like a little movie theater. It's the brightest 4K projector on the market to date. So I actually can see everything even when the shades are open. This is 2400 lumens in this projector. So it is very bright, but we'll get more into the projector a little bit later. I'll show you guys how it works. Now let's get started with the actual makeover. Step one is really making a mood board. So I knew I really wanted to bring some colors and patterns into here and I mocked up kind of a photo. A lot of the stuff was out of stock. So I had another kind of backup one. I ordered some of the stuff online ahead of time. I saw this linen wallpaper that I thought was really cool. When I got it in person, I realized it wasn't really linen, but I thought it could probably still give the wall some texture and make it more of a statement. It does bring some warmth, even though it's not actual linen like I thought. It definitely, I don't know. I like that it's some texture. We might as well try it since I have five rolls of it. And I saw this renter friendly hack where you use painter's tape and liquid nails to apply a wallpaper. So I tried this out. This was the first thing I did for the room makeover. And you pretty much put a grid of the painter's tape on the wall and then apply the liquid nails. So this didn't actually work for me because I worked a little bit too slow. And once I had the wallpaper up there, I also just didn't love it. So I decided to scrap the wallpaper idea. Feeling pretty discouraged so far. We're back to the drawing board. But luckily I did have another idea of what I could do to this wall. So day two, I came up with a new plan for the wall. Lime wash paint is super trendy right now. And I think it would really, really warm up this room, give it some texture, just some uniqueness. So I'm gonna go buy some of that. So it turns out they don't keep the lime wash paint in stock. I don't know what to do. So for the sake of this being a week makeover, I decided to just buy two different colors and blend them together to get that lime wash effect without actual lime wash paint. I was a little nervous to do this just cause I didn't know if it was actually gonna work. I tried a couple different methods I saw online. One where you use a brush and you paint in X formation and another one where you use a sponge, some water and a little bit of white paint with another darker color of paint. And I found the sponge one was a little more messy looking. It had more more texture which was cool but I don't know if I did it right this one I thought looked a little bit just like I didn't know how to paint to be honest I thought the X formation was more subtle and I think it turned out better on this part of the wall I just painted this one wall it took me about three hours to do the prep and all the painting so here's a look at how the wall turned out. I just took the painter's tape off. I was feeling pretty good about it. I think it is bringing a lot more warmth into the room and it's just something different, something more fun. 
So I put everything back into place. Next, it was time to build this bookshelf. So I knew I really wanted oak. They had some solid oak shelves, but they were actually kind of expensive. They also had oak plywood and I could build the whole bookshelf with one piece of oak plywood. So I grabbed a panel of that and my dad actually helped me bring it back, measure it and cut everything down so that I could assemble it together. So we used a table saw to make all these cuts. I measured everything just to fit perfectly into my custom little space. These saws kind of scare me, but I did do one cut. So I'm learning. And then I brought back all the pieces and a assembled it together. I got what's called a pocket hole jig. This makes little holes that you can put screws in and holds everything together pretty well. This was my first time ever using this. Some mistakes were made, but overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Here it is about halfway through, just spacing everything out. It took me a couple of evenings to do this because I'm really new at all of this. And here is how it looked. I slid it into place and I love how it just fits perfectly into that little indented space. And it doesn't jut out at all because it is a small space and I didn't want to take away from that. And then I rolled out the rug and just put the little finishing touches into place. So I decorated the bookshelf. I put up some new curtains, put the lamps back, got everything together for the final reveal. So I loved how it turned out. It feels so much cozier and I'll show you guys all around, but this is just a quick look at how it turned out. I last minute put this piece of art on the wall. So some of the shots have it and some of them don't. All right, so this is the finished room. I'm actually so happy with how it turned out. I feel like it's really giving expensive hotel room, which is what I wanted. So it's a small room, but it didn't feel cozy. But I think now that I've brought in kind of these darker colors and more like warm tones, it feels so much more homey and cozy in here. So you can see I've got the bookshelf that I made fits kind of perfectly into this nook. And I actually haven't put a finish on it yet. I'm still deciding if I want to. Highly recommend like making a little furniture piece for your home. It's really actually fun. I added some books and little decor pieces that I got from CB2. I'll probably switch everything over time and just have fun with it. And right above the bookshelf is where the projector can cast to. Then over here on the nightstand, this is where I've been pretty much keeping the Nebula Cosmos 4K projector. So when I'm done watching it, I just put it down here. It has this handle, so it's like very easy to grab, but I put it right here because it projects perfectly onto the wall. It's worked out really great. The speakers in it also are so good. And then I also have, this is the capsule three projector here. This one is also just really good for using at night. I wanna thank Nebula who creates these projectors for sponsoring this video. They sent over two projectors and I'll tell you guys more about the capsule three laser projector because this one is more affordable and really good. This one right here, the capsule three laser is gonna be, I think a really good option for most people. As you can see, it's so much more compact and portable and it's also priced a lot lower. The capsule three laser is $799 but they let me know you can get $120 off if you email their customer service and put Shelby Church special discount in the subject line. And the Cosmos 4K is about $2,200, but this upcoming week, it's actually $600 off for Black Friday. Currently, Nebula is the only company applying laser technology into such a compact projector. Both of these projectors have autofocus and auto keystone correction. You can cast things from your phone. So if you're watching YouTube or Netflix on your phone, you can just cast it with that. So it's super easy to use. This design is different from their previous generations. It's very sleek and it's got this really cool red ring. I think it's really stylish. I think it's very, very nice looking, honestly, in your room. And because it's so compact, you can just place it down. And like these projectors are different from a traditional LED projector. The laser makes it brighter and also more saturated. So the colors are gonna look better. Everything about it just, you can just see it clearer and brighter. They're also more energy efficient and they just have like an all around stronger performance. Since it's so portable, I decided to bring the capsule three to the Palm Springs Airbnb because I have these white walls that are perfect for projecting onto in the evenings. And it also works as a Bluetooth speaker. So I 
I can use it poolside just to listen to music. But my absolute favorite place to use it is on the wall outside of the hot tub. I can watch movies, TV shows, music videos, everything. It's so fun, easy to set up and easy to use. Okay, we kind of got distracted for a second from the room makeover. Can you tell I'm editing this one in Palm Springs? <laughs> Thank you to Nebula for sponsoring. Now back to the room makeover. More of the room. All right, so the rug, I think it's fun. It gives some personality. I wasn't sure if I would love it. And I actually think it looks really cool. I never thought I would have a room, a bedroom of mine be kind of orange, but I, I'm here for it. It's kind of fun. These curtains, I think, tie in really nicely with the rug. It's tricky when you're ordering stuff just online and these ended up just being from Amazon, but I think that they look good. The rail system has been working really well. This is just from Amazon. It's very renter friendly, um, super easy to install. You don't have to drill anything. So if you're like me and you have a concrete ceiling, it is perfect. It was such a good little solution. Also curtains just add another level of hominess that the blinds, like those shades don't really give you. Over here, the bed is from Article. I love how simple this bed is. It could fit in any space. I feel like it will never like go out of style. I think that it's great. And once I painted the wall, I think the bed actually looked much better too because the white on white was just extremely bland. I ended up getting some new bedding. This is from Crate and Barrel, but it is like that linen. This is actually a hemp texture. You don't have to get it from Crate and Barrel, but I think that the hemp woven texture looks really nice. I think it looks a lot better than the microfiber. It's also cooler for sleeping, so I think I'm gonna sleep a lot better with this. And yeah, I just think it looks like kind of a luxury hotel. I like this little detail of the black line. This pillow also from CB2. And I wanted to bring in one other pattern because I see a lot of these luxury hotels, like the proper hotels, they have different patterns. They'll have a couple different patterns kind of mixing and matching. And I think it's really cool. So that's what I did with this. It's different from the checker, but I think it still kind of ties in. It's kind of like the orange color, the blue. I think it works and it's just something a little more fun because otherwise this is just a plain white bed. Adding a quilt to a bed, I think really brings it up a notch. It makes it feel like that hotel finished bed. So this one, I just wanted one other color than the orange so it wasn't overwhelmingly orange. So I went for a dark blue. It's kind of neutral-ish um, and I really like it. It feels nice. Okay, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's actually so cozy in here now. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Like, I can't even believe it. I was I was really losing hope at one point and it's, I love it. I will have everything, every product I can find linked down below except the bookshelf because I made it. I'll have the projectors linked down below. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I worked really hard on it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see another room makeover, you can check this one out. It's the one, the room makeover I did in Palm Springs. Go check that out if you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.